Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. Uh, my channel name is Alba Stitcher and this is a channel about cross stitch. It's where I share my love of all things stitchy related. Um, today is Tuesday the 21st of February. Um, I decided to do a little bit of a quick update today because it's been about three and a half weeks since my last video. And whilst I haven't stitched as much as I'd hoped to, I do have some things to share with you. Um, there's been no drama, but it's just been busy at work, life stuff. So uh, I've not stitched as much. I do have one finish. I have something very close to a finish and maybe something that's a little... Um, little mini finishes that's what I'm going to say if you're new here welcome I have some uh, new subscribers Um, I hope you like uh, what you see Um, and um, yeah if you've stuck with me for all this time what can I say well done that's all I'm going to say well done for sticking by my ramblings about stitching Um, it's very uh, the weather here today I was at the hospital this morning I'll do a little bit of a life update at the end I'm glad to see I don't have any major update, but I'll give a little bit of a life update. But I was at the hospital this morning and this morning it looked really, really as if it was going to be super, super bad weather. Um, but it certainly brightened up. And although we're not in spring yet, you can feel a little bit of the change in the air and spring is coming. Not that any of my stitching is spring related. Um, I've come to realise I just really just stitch what I want. I don't really stick to seasons. I enjoy stitching and I just stitch what I really want to stitch. Um, so I think in this pile here I've got some Halloween, I have some Christmas. Um, yeah, it's just uh, I don't stick um, to specific seasons. So I've got a, a finish and a few other bits and pieces. I've also got some haul. Um, and a little bit of interest in haul, maybe, um, uh, and I'll explain that. And yeah, that's it. Got the giveaway winner. Got another giveaway for you. Um, but let's get started. So my first uh, finish, sorry, my only finish this video is my uh, Quaker, my monthly Quaker. And this is by From Your Heart Needle Art by Wendy. It's looking a little bit... Um, blown out the, the colors are are much more um brighter than that they really are there, there's a softness to them but they are kind of brighter and um, than that it's probably the lighting is not great in here so as you can see i stitched january already that's it there and here is february and i really like this one i like the colors i like the the mixture of the pinks and the green and this is a 32 count lugana Murano, might be Murano. Um, it says Vigar. I had a, a packet of it in my moustache and I just um, used it and I've really enjoyed it. And there's quite a few people stitching along, which is great. If you've got one of the Quakers um, from your Heart Needle app, then please join in and use the hashtag Year of Quakers um, 2023. I'll put it in the, the box below. But yeah. Um, so far so good that's two months in and I've kept up to date um, they do take a lot of my stitching time um, I don't have I try and stitch every day excuse me <coughs> sorry for the coughing I try and stitch every day but you know sometimes it's really very very little um, and there are some days that I just don't get to stitch um, so when I start this normally at the beginning of the month it does take up a big chunk of my stitching time but I normally <coughs> I'm sorry, I might just have to pause for a second, sorry. That's me back. Although I've been at work all day, I haven't done a lot of talking, I've done a lot of computer work. Um, so I had a bit of a, a, a frog in my, my throat. Um, so this takes up quite a, a, a chunk of my stitching time, but I don't normally just stitch on it constantly for maybe a week and a half to get it finished. I'll maybe try and do three days to try and get it really, get a good start on it and then I'll... I'll kind of go back and forth in it over the next kind of further kind of 10 days or so. So <clears throat> normally by middle of the month, it's all done. Um, but yeah, I've really liked this and I've actually got the March prepped and ready to go, which I will show you. 
But yeah, if you've got one, please join in, share your progress. I'm sure everybody would um, love to see it. I've got a real precarious setup today. <laughs> it could go all horribly wrong. Um, <clears throat> and again, I'm sorry for coughing. So this is March and I've even got it in the bag ready to go. So that's the March and again, you're not really seeing it's a kind of different shades of green, obviously, for St. Patrick's Day. Here are the threads and this is the, I've decided to do this one on platinum. I'm sure it's platinum. Let me just check the ticket. Yeah, it's 32 count platinum. So this is going to be what March will look like and I'm hoping that I'll enjoy stitching on this one as much as the others. So that's my colour palette, the fabric and the threads and it's for that chart, if you can see it. So yeah, really enjoying stitching on these. Um, yeah, really enjoying stitching on them. I can only hope that I keep the motivation right through the year so that I have all 12 finished by the end of the year. So yeah, that's March. If at any point anybody wants to see the other months up close, maybe you decided just to do one, let me know and I'll go through them. I've, I've obviously got all 12. So what else have I stitched on uh, this last few weeks? Well, I had a new start. It was a kind of last minute. Yeah, it was definitely a last minute new start. But the thing is, I'm already going to have to frog a bit because I'm close to a finish, but it, there's a mistake. <laughs> there is a mistake. So let me show you this. This is, excuse the crinkling, is The Good Huswife, and this is Dutch Strawberries. I've had this in my stash for a while. It is out of print. Um, I don't know how easy or difficult it is to get a hold of. I have no idea where I got it from. Um, I don't. I don't know where I got it from. Uh, I would be guessing. But I started. I used the. It's charted for MPI silks. I'm sure. Yeah, charted for MPI silks. So I took the um, DMC conversion. Um, and it's creme brulee. I think R&R &R creme brulee is the um, called for. But what I picked was Weeks Dye Works. And this is straw. Weeks Dye Works straw. Um, and I've, I've liked stitching on it. This is the old weeks. And I've, I've stitched on the old and the new weeks. And I forget. I always forget how loose the weave is. So um, I've already had to do some frogging. And now... Because I'm going, I'm, I was going for a finish before I filmed, but I've got a little bit to do. And the problem is I have to take out this here. It's not a lot. In the in the world of frogging, it's not a lot. But I do need to take that out and reposition it. There's a miscount here. Luckily, that's the only miscount I can see. If it is more, I'm not going to frog any more out. I'll just make it work. But yeah, that's how how far I've gotten with it so I'm close to finishing but just a little bit more so yeah so that's the good huswife Dutch strawberries I have another good huswife chart and I really do like them but it's so hard to get a hold of these out of print charts without being ripped off on eBay or, or wherever um, and I have to say I'm disappointed because I was looking on eBay the other day there can't remember what it was I was looking for and I saw some blackbird designs and it was charts that were not out of print and the person was asking like really silly really silly prices and I don't know it makes me sad it could be that they're not a stitcher and they've just inherited some stash but it really does make me quite sad that people um, take advantage um, of stitchers um, the other project that I worked on that you have seen before is this one here and this is by Heartstring uh, Sampery it's called Ye Old Noel um, it's a lovely uh, chart I'm not I'm not rushing through this one because obviously it's a Christmas chart there is a Salgan on as well hashtag 
the old Noel um, SAL, I believe. I will link that down below as for everyone in case you're, you're joining in. There's a few people have um, have posted and have made some great progress. My progress is not as great as it could be. Let me just get rid of this needle so you don't have to see it. Um, and this is my progress on this and I'm stitching this on. Oh, I have my card. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> because I have my card in my project bag. Let me lift this up and you can look at that while I rummage about to, to get what I'm looking for. This is stitched on 32 count sparklies in parchment and I'm using the called for over dyed threads. Um, they're a lovely, it's a lovely thread palette on this one. And that's my progress. As I say, my progress is not as... Um, fast <clears throat> or as um, far on as I would hope but I really am just taking my time with it adding in things here and there um, not really spending a lot of of hours on it over the last few weeks <clears throat> but slowly slowly and I'll get that finished by Christmas there's no rush for it for me anyway um, some people have made some great progress on the salvo that's always nice and I think it's always encouraging because I have a lot of whips so when I see other people's progress, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to pick that up. I need to get that finished. Yeah, doesn't always happen. Um, okay, and then I had another new start. Um, this is one that I had wanted to start for a, quite a while, but, well, I don't know what, quite what stopped me here this year. I'm just looking for it. I seem to have everything except the actual fabric and this is stitched on 32 count Tudor Rose let me see Tudor Rose by Paul Stitches and this is the chart here so it's by Raise the Roof and it's Love Laundry <clears throat> And I would say, yeah, it, it's it's maybe as bright as it, as it looks to you. And I've not done much and I probably will not go back to this until next year, until um, closer to uh, Valentine's Day. I hope you all had a nice Valentine's Day. I did. Um... Uh, I was um, I did I had a lovely I had a lovely Valentine's Day so I've um I've only really started I did the boxer shorts in the middle part of the washing line and then I've moved on to the the kind of wrap here um so I've still got quite a way to go on it but this is actually a lovely fabric I've really enjoyed stitching on this um it's a 32 count even weave um, I've ordered the buttons. I have three of these charts. I have the Love Laundry, Santa's Clothes and Witchy Washy. Um, but I didn't have any of the buttons. Um, and then I contacted uh, the Nimble Thimble and she's managed to order me the buttons. It turns out I could have got the buttons anyway, but it's fine. I would rather support a, a local needle workshop. So, yep, yeah, that's my very small start, but... It's an enjoyable stitch, so I've been working on that. Um, and as I say, I'll probably not pull that one back out until um, closer to Valentine's next year. Um, and then I also worked upon my Hocus Pocus piece. And this is by Prairie Schooler. Okay, now I'm going to make a bit of noise, so I apologise because I keep the. This is a reprinted chart, okay? So the it's on that very very thin paper. I'll just pause you. Okay, so this is the chart here, um, Prairie Schooler Hocus Pocus. Um, the the reason that I paused there to take it out of the bag is it's the paper reprint and. See, to be honest, see if I don't keep it protected, there's no way I'll be able to read the symbols before it's finished. Um, 
they're not the only ones. The reprinting is not the only ones um, that are using this really fine paper. There's another designer that uses them and I just, I really struggle that it's not cardstock. I really struggle that um, it's not better paper um, for us because, you know, it's not as if stitching's a, a quick task. We, we take our time. Um, some people years, some people months, but it's certainly you can't do it in a day. Um, so I just, I really struggle that it's so fine paper. But anyway, I really like the design. Um, and I'm not ungrateful that it's not been reprinted, but this is as far as I've gotten. Um, you may remember the last time I showed you, I have switched, switched out a few things. The first thing is the, I've, I've not just stuck to the orange as the accent colour. Um, I've switched mine out and used the lobster claw. For the orange and the purple that I've used if you can see it here on the witch is ultraviolet by weeks um, and then I've used the, the, the called for DMC and I'm using um, black instead of 37.99 I think it is and this is a murky a piece of murky that I got yeah last year at some point remember um, if you've watched me before you'll know this story but Murky was out of stock everywhere for long enough I then placed an order with 123 Stitch and it was on back order for, for literally months and then out of the blue I got notification that it was coming and I got it and it's just not murky enough for my liking but it's fine for this piece um, so I chopped into it got what I wanted and yeah I'm, I'm enjoying stitching this in fact I have to force myself to put this one down because I'm enjoying it so much. So, yeah, that's my hocus pocus and I'm on to my third block. My plan is to try and keep up with a block a month so that I can have it finished by October. I don't know, maybe, maybe we live in hope. You never know. Okay, so that's all the projects that I've been working on in the last few weeks. But I obviously I have some haul and I've got some, I'd like your opinion on some things. Um, let me talk about the opinion. You may remember um, a few videos ago or maybe two videos ago, I'm not sure exactly. I had bought this chart here. And this was one of the Mirabilia, sorry, not a, ah, yeah, Mirabilia's um, uh, releases, Nightingale. And I managed to get it. I really, really like it. But I was never really sure about the fabric. The suggested fabric, I think, is Laurel. Is it Laurel? Um, yep, by Witchelt. But I don't know. And I've seen some people stitch it, which has been great. I've really enjoyed um, seeing them. But I thought I was going to try this. And I don't know if it's this piece of fabric here. So this is picture, this is picture this plus moss. And, you know, I just thought that this would look really, really good with the blues and the whites because it is a very light, um, if I just show you the chart again, it is a very kind of light uh, colour palette for most of the dress. And I did ask my friend, what do you think? And that's not, that's actually showing the moss lighter than it is. Um, it is it is quite a a dark fabric, but I kind of love it. So let me show you the threads, and then you can just tell me what you think. And if if people are like, "Oh, you're you're crazy," I'm not saying that I'll change my mind. Wow, this is because there's so many threads. Um, I'm not saying that I'll change my mind, but yeah, I do I do like it. I just think it would be quite striking. Let me take the, the water lilies out, that might help. Um, maybe if I just put some of the threads on, then you'll have a, an idea. Maybe this might not work. My grand plan might not work. I just wondered if people thought it was too much, the green. Or if people thought, yeah, it looks okay. I'm not quite sure. I think I've probably got it all kitted up now. I probably don't need much more. Not that I've got a plan to start it. 
I really need to work on my whips. But here is a selection of the threads, and that's the the water lily at the top. I don't know if it's still going to slide off, but <laughs> let's see. Here's a nice experiment. What did you do, Amanda? Oh, I ended up picking up all the DMC bobbins. But yeah, I'm just I'm thinking this is the colour I want to use. Um picture this plus moss. So if anybody thinks like, yeah, you're too wild, it's too crazy, don't get something else, let me know. Um and if you think something else would look better, then that's also fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind people saying, yeah, well. Because just between you and I, at the end of the day, I'll just decide myself what I'm going to do. But I would like other people's opinions. I don't I don't stitch lots of mirabilias. I like them. I don't stitch lots of, lots of them. And I don't know if this is just a step too far. So, yeah. Any any opinions, please share them. I'll not be offended. Um, what else do I have? I have some threads that I bought. Um... If you may remember at Christmas time, I did a, an advent box from a company called Poppy Patch UK. And they were doing the um, cottage garden threads. Um, so I then joined the, the monthly club. I can tell you that there are now kind of needle workshops where you can easily get these threads. Um, peak side off the top of my head, they have them. Um, they also do colour and cotton if anybody's interested. But anyway, I've joined this monthly thread club and there would have to be one, wouldn't there? Let us pause. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's the um, five threads that I got this month. Um, they're really quite nice. Um, I like them. They're all quite... I, I struggle sometimes with the... The highly variegated threads, but some of these are, are really lovely. I love the um, the changes in them. So, yeah. So, I received those five. So, I now have quite a collection of the cottage garden threads, which is, is good. Um, I also, at the beginning of the year, and I won't take these out of the bag, at the beginning of the year, Chromatic Alchemy which is a, a fabric dyer here in the UK. She always, I don't know if she always has a sale, but she's had a, a sale the last couple of um, years, if I remember correctly, where she'll have some money off. Um, and I thought, let me choose some that I'm not really sure what I want to do with them, but I'm interested to see what they're like. It's a real problem not seeing fabric up close. Um, I struggle with that a lot when you buy online. And what you think you're going to get and what you end up getting are two very different things. I do like fabric clubs where I don't know really what I'm getting and it just comes in as a surprise. That's fine. But if I have a project in mind and then I order fabric and I'm never quite sure what it's going to look like, then I can really struggle. I think for me, just to go back to this one for the Mirabilia, for the moss, the, this fabric is great no matter what. I'll use it. If I don't use it for the Mirabilia, I'll use it for another project. So I decided then to order some Chromatic Alchemy fabric that I've never had before. I've had plenty of their fabric, but just sort of colours that I'd never had before, just so that I could have a little look. So I'm hoping you can see them through the, the bag. So this first one that I've got here is Flotsam and Jetson. Um, then I've got this one here, which is Pomona. Yeah, that's kind of really it. Then I had this one here, which is Feldspar. And then I think I ordered her, I think this was the fabric of the month for January. And this is Sif. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh, I'll never, I'll never use that. I don't think I'll ever, ever use that. But actually, on reflection, I think I probably will use it. I must admit, I'm happy with all four of them. I don't have a problem with, with any of them. Um, I really don't. But it's the only way for me anyway that I can um, kind of understand the fabrics and, and what I can use them for because see when I buy them off uh, online 
you, you never really know what you're getting. So I ordered some of them. So that was way back in January. And you know that there's a good kind of four or six week wait um, for the fabric. But that was fine with me. I was in no rush for them because, as I say, I just wanted to um, see what the fabric colours were like. I know the fabrics are fine themselves, but what the colours were like. I think they are all linen and they're all belfast i'm sure i didn't take any even weave i kind of mostly take um belfast but occasionally i take um an even weave i've also got some charts that i've managed to um that i've purchased um the first thing is I've, these are not all purchased in the last kind of couple of weeks i had some of these already in my stash but i have a little bit of a thread work primitive uh, vibe going on so I picked up a few more so I'm just going to show you the, the couple that I've got this one here which is Lucky Crow which I might try and squeeze out in uh, March Oops. then there's this one here which is Jack in the Hat um, then we have this one here which is Ho 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 and I do love the these smalls are they really are they're like that one is 31 by 77 so you could easily or comfortably get that done um then there's this one here I think this might be my favorite this is primitive crow and again that's 31 by 77 and this one here which is B ye Mary and that's 71 by 89 and I think my plan for these would be just to use what I've got in my stash for, for threads um, and I also picked up a few more <laughs> this one here called Forever and Ever also, uh, with thy needle and thread and I had seen this one this was actually on sale for on a stash on load and I didn't get it and then I was trying to find it and I couldn't get it anywhere and then eventually I managed to get it off eBay, off a, off a shop on eBay, not, not a seller. So yeah, I really like that one. Um, I also picked up this one. The, the social media is a wash, I would say, with this one. And again, I'm just going to take it out so that you can see it. Again, it's a With Thy Needle and Thread. Is that not beautiful? I love, love, love the colours. And that one's called Rejoice um, Evermore. There you go. And I think the final one that I've picked up in the last couple of weeks was this little one here. And this is by October House Fibre Arts Tomato Roll. I just love it. <laughs> and I don't know if you've been looking at the um, market releases. <laughs> So uh, Fiber, uh, October House Fibre Arts also have one called, I think it's Itch to Stitch. It's very similar, long and thin. Um, and they've got one with scissors as well, which I like, but I'm not as keen on. So definitely Tomato Roll, which I've got, and I will try and get Itch to Stitch. Um, I don't know if anybody's been looking at the... <coughs> Sorry. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to come down with something now. And I've already been sick, but... Um, if you've been looking at the market releases, but there's some fab ones there. There's a little chubby bunny. Um, I've already stitched Chubby Bird by Jeanette Douglas. Um, there's a new one from Heart and Hand, The Tiny Houses. I have already the other one, so I'll certainly be adding that to um, my stash. Um, let me think what else there is. There's quite a lovely sampler book um, by, it's one of the Dutch... Um, shops designers so Ed idea i think maybe she's uh, released a book as well which looks fab um so yeah i'm really looking forward to all that hitting our um well for me it'll be internet for for some of you it'll be shops which will be lovely that you'll go into shops and pick it up but for me it will be the internet and then i can i can purchase them as well um so yeah i've been i've been watching what's been happening with them um, the market releases um i think that's it let's talk about giveaway so the last time i was here i was giving away the chart for this little one that i finished and if you look behind me well it's, it's over there you'll not see it i haven't finished it 
I finished it, but I didn't fully finish, didn't fully finish it. And I, I did say I would put in some threads. I put in some threads. Whether you use the threads for this chart or not, it's, it's up to you. And the winner is Rebecca. Um, and Rebecca comments a lot on my videos. So that is nice. It is nice that it's somebody who uh, consistently watches. So Rebecca Journey um, was the successful um, winner for this. However, I need to, to explain something that's going on here in the UK. We've got a little bit of a problem with our post at the moment um, that it's not possible to post internationally. I went to the post office probably about two weeks ago and they told me, yeah, that can be going, but that can't go because it's going to the US. And I was like, right, OK. And then my mum went back to the post office. Yeah. I don't know, maybe like a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. And they told her the same. Yeah, that can't go to the US. So my giveaways are open to anyone and everyone. However, if you are not in the UK, it's going to take a bit longer. Um, I don't know when they'll sort this out. So just to say, if you're entering, you will get your, your chart or whatever it is I'm giving away, but you will need to wait for it. So my giveaway this week <coughs> or this time is a Cricut collection. It was brand new. I bought it, but I've already got it. So it's a duplicate chart that I've got in my stash. And this is the Cricut collection summer. Um, I will put some threads in with it. Not sure it'll be the threads that go because I think they're only... Um, yeah, they're all charted in DMC. But if you're interested in see, in winning this, I would like you to use the word summer. It's not that I've skipped out spring, but this is my duplicate chart I've got. So just make the comment of summer. That's what I'll search for. And if you're not based in the UK, please be patient. Your chart will eventually get to you once whatever the problem is with the Royal Mail gets sorted. Okay, so that's the um, the giveaway for this time. A little bit of a life update. Let's talk about my dad first of all. Um, the last time I think my dad was just going for his B12 shot. He gets a B12 shot. Um, it's once every three months. And immediately after that, for about 10 days, we see a massive improvement in him. He's able to form words easily. He can follow conversations. So that's like really good. Um, so he's just had his B12 about two weeks ago. But now we're starting to see the uh, the effects wear off and the dementia nurse was in yesterday and she said yeah it's pretty common um that the the patients they really do get a boost when they have their b12 but it doesn't last so i think the plan is to try and move them to once every nine weeks rather than once every 12 weeks um it'll just hopefully keep it him a little bit better for longer um there's been no other changes um Things haven't deteriorated, which is great, but we did see a, a really boost when he had his B12, which was nice. Um, with regards to my ongoing issue with my leg, um, I still have two legs, which is a plus point. Um, I was at the hospital today for them to check. They've changed my dressings again and I go on Thursday for a second MRI and they want to check to see if there is any remaining infection on the bone. They think that's what could be causing the leg not to heal. Um, and if that is the case, then I need to go back in for a third surgery and they'll clean out the situation. Just clean it all out and then hopefully I'll be fine. And they're also going to check my veins to make sure there's nothing there that's stopping the blood from going away and, and not healing. So that's the situation. The next time I see you, no doubt I'll have some more information about it. I have a couple of other things that are cropping up. I've got a nice um, stitchy day planned in a couple of weeks with um, a, a group that meet up regularly. And I've also got the um, Scottish Stitchers retreat in April. The only thing about that is if I'm going back in for surgery, I don't know if I can drive. So that'll be a big headache around about that time. But yeah, that's, I think, all. So I would like to thank those that bought me a coffee because I did have some um, bought this month. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope you're all stitching what you like the way I do. And um, I'll catch up with you in a few weeks' time. I'll put all the hashtags down below so that you can uh, join in on uh, social media with us. But 
Take care. Stitch well. Yeah, enjoy. Okay, bye-bye.